Hi, Parkway family, Pastor Bethany here. I get to share this week's devotional with you. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Deuteronomy. And I'm going to give you some context just so you can uh, understand where we're at in the biblical narrative. So Moses is giving a speech to uh, the Israelites and he's reminding them of all of the places and the things that God has brought them through. He reminds them that they were slaves in Egypt and that God had rescued them after hundreds of years. He reminds them that they had traveled in the wilderness and um, that eventually God had brought them here where they are at now to the Jordan River. They were about to cross the Jordan River and go into the promised land that they had waited for for so long. And they were here at this point. Um, Another thing that Moses reminded the Israelites about was all of the instructions and directions that God had given his, his people to follow. And he lays out for them two options, either to follow God and obey what he said or not to. And when they were to follow God, they would receive the blessing that God had promised. But if they didn't follow God and his instructions, then they would be cursed by God. Here's the thing though, as Deuteronomy goes along, you can see that Moses knows it's not going to work out for the Israelites. He knows that eventually the Israelites are not gonna keep following God. They're gonna slip up and be back in the same boat that they were once before. Um, when they were captured by Egypt, when they wandered through the, the wilderness, it's just inevitable at this point that they're just, they're going to slip up yet again. And Moses knows that, and he predicts that to happen in the future. But another thing that he talks about happening is the fact that he knows that one day God will make a way where he actually comes inside of people to transform them from the inside out. One of the things that we talk about in kids ministry all of the time is the fact that we're not looking for behavior modification or to change ourselves. What we're looking for is to connect with God and his Holy Spirit so that he can transform our hearts so that we're transformed from the inside out. And this is what Moses was talking about. He knew that one day God would be able to live inside of us and change us from the inside out. And the cool thing is, is that we're here now. We know um, God in a whole new way than the Israelites did. We get to have God living inside of us. We know that we're going to mess up. We know that there's no way we can meet every regulation and every law and everything perfectly that God sets out for us. That's good. And so we have Jesus who bridged that gap for us, who who sacrificed his life so that we could be connected to God. Um, and so now we can be transformed from the inside out. And so I just want to give a reminder to you this week. Sometimes it can be so easy to focus on doing good and doing right. And all those, although those things aren't bad, and I'm not saying not to do good things, I think that if you focus on your connection with God, connecting to him, having time with him, and allowing him to transform your heart, then it, it will be, you will see so much fruit from your life. As you connect with God every day and you spend time with him and you allow him to speak to you, you will experience transformation that comes from the inside out. And that only can come from the Holy Spirit. Um, I just want to read a quick verse for you real quick from Deuteronomy. And it says, it's Deuteronomy 7, 7. And it says this, the Lord did not set his heart on you and choose you because you were more numerous than other nations. For you were the smallest of all nations. Rather, it was simply that the Lord loves you and he was keeping the oath he had sworn to your ancestors. This, or that is why the Lord rescued you with such a strong hand from your slavery and from the oppressive hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. So my friend, my friends today, I want to remind you that the Lord doesn't choose you or love you because you've done everything right. Because including myself, we have not done everything right, but that's okay. 
because Jesus made a way so that now we can be transformed from the inside out. We've been made right with God and now he wants to have relationship with us. So instead of thinking about right or wrong or black and white this week, I want you to focus on connection and intimacy with God so that you can be transformed from the inside out. Have a blessed week. Love you, family.